Hello everyone and welcome back. It has been a really long time since I've done a video and I'm sorry we just like everybody else in the world have gotten busy with other things but I'm so excited to bring you my favorite video to do of the year I swear. I don't know what it is about spring but I just got so many favorites. So let's get started. Coming into the spring, we're coming into swimsuit season. I don't know how you guys feel about swimsuit season, but swimsuit season is um, not always my favorite season, but going to the beach with my family is a priority. I like to have fun. I like to feel good or as good as I can feel in a swimsuit. Hey, I've had times in my life where I felt amazing in a swimsuit. Right now it's not one of those times, but I feel amazing in life, so that's all that matters. Back whenever I used to do beauty pageants, they would always be like, if you can't tone it, tan it. And I was always like, what do they mean by that? And then I tanned for the first time. My Lord, if there's anything that will hide things that you don't want seen, it's a tan, okay? So I wanted to show you guys Loving Tan because I love Loving Tan and I've shown it before, but I showed the mousse before. I've been using the Gradual Tanner lately, so I get the shade Dark and I have this mitt. I think I even have a code. I had a code like a hundred years ago for this. And I'll put the link there. And um, I just think it's fantastic. It's a great natural color. It doesn't like speckle on your skin. It's a really natural feel. And it also moisturizes at the same time. Remember last year, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I wore these really cute one piece. Uh, one was a cow print bikini not bikini, um, one piece. One was a, um, kind of like a giraffe print. So they're like, it's a sexy suit, but it has the coverage of a one piece. Now, except for the butt. The butt is a little bit Brazilian, but these, and I get a large because I want it to be as covering as possible. These are a dupe of those. Um, so it's from a site online called Buddy Love. It's got, oh, this, look at this. I haven't done one of these in a long time, you can tell. <laughs> okay, so it's from a site called Buddy Love, and it's such a cute suit. So I actually got two of them, and they come with the little belt. This one's super cute, too. And also, if you're not comfortable with the more Brazilian cut on the butt of the suit, then you can always wear, like, some cool cover-up. Like, I just love a black sarong with either of these. I think they're timeless, and I think they're chic, and I think they're perfect for summer. They're also around $80. So, the ones that I wore last year, I got them on sale, but originally they're, like, $300, which is way too much for a swimsuit, in my opinion. It should be everybody else's opinion, but, you know. Sometimes we splurge. Speaking of summer, I've just ordered these because I saw someone wearing them and I was like, these are a perfect alternative to the high-end Gucci slobs that I've always worn in the summer. Um, these are $50 and they have like 15 prints. Look at my leg. See, you can see my spray tan where I've stopped it. I think these are super great for summer. Okay, I wanted to turn this direction so that you can see with the sunlight coming in, um, this highlighter on my face. I fell in love with Westman Atelier when I was in 30A last summer, and I have worn it ever since. And they continue to like roll out new products, and I always try them because I have never found a makeup line that I consistently like every single piece that they put out like I have with this Westman Atelier. So these lit up sticks are highlight sticks, but for like a grown adult, not somebody that's like in the club wanting to be shimmer and purple iridescent. If I had to pick one piece of makeup to wear for summer, especially like when I go out on vacation on the beach, this is so crazy because I'm always like, oh no, I'd pick a brow or I'd pick a mascara. I might pick this. Another item that I really love is this Laura Mercier. I was looking for something that was um, not some thick, heavy sunscreen, but a sunscreen that could go under my makeup and it could feel light. It could not mess with the makeup, but also it had some good coverage. I've been really bad about wearing sunscreen my entire life, so I'm really trying to get better. So this one has SPF 30 in it, and it's just called a Pure Canvas Primer, and I really like it. This tried and true butter bronzer, if you're looking for a drugstore bronzer for the summertime and the spring, I love that one. And of the new products that have just come out, um, my friend Jess Southern, that's her name on Instagram, is an incredible makeup artist. And it was actually when I was shooting my book cover and she was like, you need to get this blush. It's so youthful and 
vibrant, the glow of it. And I was like, really? Like I have 950 blushes. And she was like, trust me. So I got it. So it's Patrick Ta and the color is She's That Girl. So what I do is I use the cream first. So I put the cream just with like two of my fingers, just dab it onto my cheek. And then I'll take just a little tiny brush and brush one swipe of that brush up, blush over top of it. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did a giveaway with these. I have been obsessed with these Smart Sweets for a really long time. And especially like when I'm doing WW, these I used to, every time I would go to Whole Foods, I would buy like six or seven of every flavor and they're organized in my pantry. So I'm so excited. Um, that they finally came out with the gummy worms as a permanent flavor because I think it was last October, um, sometime around Halloween, and they came out as like a limited edition flavor. And I love gummies, I love gummy worms, especially on road trips and stuff, and to put them in your bag at the beach or like for kids. Look, three points, three smart points for the entire bag. So if you're not familiar with WW, basically like I get 30 smart points to eat in an entire day and a normal bag of gummy worms would be like 18 points. So that would be the majority of what you could eat in a day. In a day. But these are 81, they have 81% less sugar than like normal gummy worms. So even if you're a person who you're trying to feed your kids less sugar, you yourself are trying to eat less sugar. Um, it's just a great alternative because it literally tastes just like the gummies that you buy at a gas station. Also, for all those people that are very healthy and they're gluten-free, they're rich in fiber, they don't have any artificial flavoring or coloring, these are definitely one of my springtime favorites and um, something that we are carrying around, especially when we travel through the spring and summer, um, to feed to our kids too. These flavors too are blue raspberry and cherry, pink lemonade and peach, strawberry and pineapple. Um, they also don't have any sugar alcohols, you know, and the whole bag is 110 calories. Can't beat it. I just really like this. All right, next, you've seen this in the background of stories on Instagram if you watch those. But if you are a YouTube only person, let me intro you to my family gallery wall. This is definitely one of my favorites of spring and one of my favorite things in my home. Also, this is something that you can do too very easily. It's all in the layout of it and then the frames are just pottery barn. So this um, balloon arch is from a gender reveal that I did for my sister a few weeks ago and it's still up, so ignore that. Our decorator did, so she actually, April Tomlin, um, they laid out the layout of what this would look like. There are five by seven, four by six, and eight by 10 pictures. And what they did was they just kind of like configured the boxes to where they made the most sense. My suggestion would be just to order as many eight by tens, four by sixes, and five by sevens as you think would fit on your wall and just lay them out on the floor. The only thing I will tell you, um, when we got these in, the walls in my house are white and the, the mats are like this ivory color. So if you have a white wall, you're gonna have to do what I did and turn these around. So this is actually the back of the mats. But as you see, like they're all just kind of hung kind of every which way. And it's the centerpiece of our home. It's the thing like when you're rushing to and from in your life, you look at that wall and you're like, you know what? This is the stuff that matters. Everything's gonna be okay. It reminds you to look forward to things like vacations and birthday parties when you're in the middle of the hustle and bustle of planning for all of those things. It is not every day that there is a kid's item that I've not heard of. Um, so I'm always so shocked when somebody gets us a gift that I'm like, how did I not know about this? My friend Julie Chrisley gives the best gifts and she got for this little thing, it's called a Tony. So I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna show you how this works. I don't even know how to describe this. It is, it plays songs, it reads stories. You can have a family member, if they have the app too, read a story to your child through this. It's just the coolest thing. And Ford and Shepard have not stopped playing with it for like four days. Each of these, has some kind of magic magnetic thing to where if you put this on this, it's gonna tell the same story or sing a song. So this one is Shepherd's favorite. Uh, I wish he was in here because you could also see the hand motions. So they do the cute little kid songs and 
I don't want to get a copyright violation, so I'm going to take that one off because Lord knows the Frozen Police are probably super strict. So we'll go with the Jungle Book one. But how cute is this? Uh, another one, uh, while I'm talking about kids' things that we are loving are these little Camelback um, water things. So it's a step up from like where you go bottle to sippy cup and then you need something for like a toddler, especially in the spring and summer. So these are fantastic. And I feel like sometimes you'll get a sippy that is not easy for your child to drink out of and they just kind of give up and they're just like, screw it. I'm just not gonna get a drink then. So it has to be something that is easy for them. And um, Shepard is 19 months, so he's graduated from a sippy. Actually, no, he's still doing a sippy cup for his milk in the morning at night, but um, it's nice to have something like this that they can drink water out of, and it's really easy even for him. Okay, and then I'm finishing this favorites video in my bathroom because, um, once again, if you have followed Instagram stories, you've seen this, but I haven't shared it on YouTube yet. So Dime Beauty is an amazing, I call it like a luxury skincare product at an affordable price. It's such a great line, which is why it sells out instantly. Anytime you see like a blogger post about it or a celebrity, I feel like everybody gets all hyped about a product and then they get really disappointed because it sells out. So anytime it gets restocked, I like to be sure that I share it um, with you guys because it's such a fantastic product. So. The products that I like the most from Dime Beauty, also it's like vegan, cruelty free, it's super clean. People always ask me like, what are products I can use while I'm pregnant? Um, these Dime Beauty products for the most part, like always ask your doctor, but are great and I always use them during pregnancy. I like the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Hyaluronic Acid is like such a buzzy thing right now, but it's an amazing product. So what you do with Hyaluronic is you just kind of drop it all over your face. I do it like after my cleanser. I've got on makeup right now, so I'm not gonna like drop a ton of it on there. But put it on your face, rub it in. It's gonna give your skin that bounce and that life that sometimes just from wearing product and just the dullness that comes with just having skin um, that just happens. And then I like this Hyper Glow. So this is another like brightening. Um, it's got antioxidants in it type serum that I really love too. For the hero of this video is gonna have to be this eyelash boost serum. So for years and years, actually 10 years ago, um, when like there were other products, one was called Latisse, came on the market, I was like, this is amazing. I, eyelash extensions weren't a thing yet and I was always wearing lashes and I used Latisse. My lashes grew, but it irritated my eyes so badly that I was like, I wish that there was a eyelash serum that was this great that didn't irritate my eyes and uh, through the years I never found one and then uh, Dime Beauty came out with this one and I was just like oh whoops I was holding the mascara and I was just like please be this amazing product that I keep hearing it is and it is so you see this little lash wand so you just dip it in here the serum is in the little container and you just put it across your lash line. I do it on the top and bottom. And then I've been really trying to like grow my brows out. A bushier brow is in right now. Um, I've got mine laminated and dyed, but I also will put it like all over my brows. And I do it at night or in the morning under my makeup. I usually do it one time a day. So if I forget at night, I'll do it the next morning. This lash serum lives up to all the hype that I heard everybody talking about online and it's super good. So if you are looking for something to grow your lashes, with me, like ever since um, COVID happened and I stopped using lash extensions, I was like, I just don't wanna go back. I also really love the mascara that Dime has. Um, I like it because it doesn't clump up the lashes, it separates them and fans them out, which showcases that length that um, the Eyelash Boost Serum will give you. So I have a code and it's Irvin20, if you guys wanna get 20% off of um, the Dime Beauty products, but, there are certain bundles, and if you get one of the bundles, then I'm pretty sure you get 30% off. So um, if you guys are looking for a serum, or if you're looking for something to kind of boost your lashes for the spring, I love these Dime Beauty products. So I also want to thank Dime so much for um, sponsoring that portion of the video, and I'm just such a fan of Dime Beauty, and I know you guys will be too. I went on like this mad hunt for the best dry shampoo, like, 
two months ago. So I used Bumble and Bumble, I used Baby Powder, and I used um, Orbe, which I still really like. And people at Sephora kept trying to sell me the Living Proof. This is not sponsored. Like, I buy every single bottle of Living Proof. I wish it was sponsored. Um, so I went to Sephora, like I said, I asked and she was like, oh, the Living Proof is the best. And I was like, is it really though? I see a lot of people post about it, but like, is it really that good? And she was like, just try it. I am obsessed with this dry shampoo and I tested about eight different types. High end, low end, powder base, non powder base, ones that say they clean your hair, ones that say they don't. I absolutely love this one and this one's the best and it's the one that I'm gonna be taking on my spring and summer trips with me. I feel like for some reason in the spring and summer, I use a lot more dry shampoo. I don't know if it's because I'm just traveling more often or just because I'm a little bit lazier in the spring and summer. I don't know. Um, oh, hello, Cal. That was a nice sitting up straight. Uh, Would you like- my dog, Doug. <laughs> Sweet dog. Would you like to close out this favorites video saying something we... that is your favorite? Yes, my favorite is the short sleeve oh, shirt. Oh, there actually is an item. I um, thought you were gonna say him. My dog and my wife. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> I know, I wanted to link this dress in the video. Smiley faces are so in. And it's sold out everywhere. They don't even have it on the site. It's from this, uh, I'll link the site, Farm Rio, but they don't even have, they have a lot of different things in this print, the smiley face print, but they don't have the dress. And that's such a bummer because I really love the dress. One more thing that is definitely one of my favorites. And we have our whole team coming in this week to show us the rest of the designs, but summer merch. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna give you, the, you're the first people to see this preview. I'm gonna give you a little preview of the summer merch. Somebody in this Leak picture it. made, his face made it onto the merchandise. So this is one of the designs for the summer. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be on several different uh, items, but this is just one little tiny sneak peek that Kyle will insert right here to get everybody hyped. Mm -hmm. Okay, happy spring, y'all. Yes, I do admit it. I love it way too much.